Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Wright, the author of Curly Hair Adventures and What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. Hey y'all, I'm having a bad hair day, that's why I got this hat on. Uh, this video is um, a video that's very dear to my heart. As you can see, she's crying. This video is all about the fear of getting your hair cut and that fear is called phobia. Now I am a cosmetologist, you all know I specialize in trichology and phobia is very real. I don't take it lightly. I don't laugh at people. I understand. I empathize with people who are afraid to get their hair cut. And people are afraid to get their hair cut for so many reasons. And like I said, I don't think it's funny. I know that it's very real. The goal of this video is to help you become a little bit more at ease. Um, also to gain a clear understanding and to the minds of what's taking place of, you know, a couple of us out here, meaning us hairstylists. We are not people who just want to chop your hair off. Some, you know, are not as nice as others, but, you know, for the most part, I would say 99% of our industry, people really do care about your feelings and what you're going through, what you've been through when it comes to getting your hair cut. So I hope this video will, you know, uh, provide you some insight because, oh, Nothing in this world is more irritating than going to a hair salon for a hair trim and the heifer and cut off all your damn hair. <laughs> I just, it is aggravating. And so hopefully this video is going to help you out. Um, also, I have a helpmate that's called a book. So my book comes in an ebook form and a, um, a magazine-esque, if you will, form. And I do have a chapter that's solely dedicated to this this type of uh, this topic it's called haircut versus hair trim and so um, uh, the book is available again uh, at the Amazon store and of course L Wright books and then you can also download the book if you again you know sometimes you just want to have an intimate understanding about hair and that's what this book is all about and it's also for professionals so if you are a professional watching this video then of course you can use it to share we all look out for each other I share other people's content on my YouTube channel all the time but don't use this video customers to go back and try to chin check your stylist that ain't nice again this video is to really help you feel more comfortable um, what's the difference between a trim and dusting one inches two inches does how much come that comes off you know does that negate the price how often should you do this all right so let's hop into it so i'm going to be doing a, like two different comparison three different comparison and contrast so first things first guys when you're going to get your hair cut always 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 get a consultation now consultations can be in depth consultations can be over the phone consultations can now be what you know um, via FaceTime or some type of video chat okay but please make sure you're going to get a consultation so um, this is like a mock consultation this is a regular customer so we're kind of pretending here so if she was to come in and say just calm my hair down and trim my ends um, as you can see icky it's just so icky so um, I would just calm the hair down and snip it and trim it and that would be it now some people like that should be free now hey guys this is how cosmetologists get paid so some hairstylists will charge you for that some won't but in the consultation they will let you know that up front so that's the first comparison and contrast you ask for a trim you got it okay all right so um here is another version of a trim now remember every salon has their own language, their own hair cutting techniques. So this is why 
you must get that consultation. At our salon, this is called a blueprint haircut system. And we do this hair cutting system every three months under a full moon for all customers who want to grow their hair out. So our salon, as you guessed it, people who come to us, they want hair and they want a lot of it. So we don't do a lot of cutting hair off. We do a little, but not too much. So for the most part, people who come to us, they want longer hair. So you see these different uh, sections, the way I'm combing our hair. And so we are respecting uh, the science of the way the hair grows on the scalp, which is on the radius. So this is why you see all these angles again every salon every cosmetologist has their own level of expertise and understanding so don't use this video and say can you do this and they'll be like girl what you talking about okay <laughs> so uh, have that intimate relationship with your cosmetologist again this one is called our blueprint hair cutting system and we use this uh, system for all people who want to grow their hair out by cutting their hair in the natural growth pattern uh, that their hair grows and whichever side they wear their dominant part on, okay? Now, another thing we do to help people feel comfortable with getting a haircut is we turn them towards the mirror. Now, if you are a cosmetologist watching this, please turn your customer towards the mirror because with tonsophobia, people don't like when you turn them away from the mirror. So that's the second comparison and contrast. So the first one, we have a yule fashion trim, which can be free or you might have to pay for it. And then we had a thorough, in-depth interior cut hey i'm back okay so now we got to do what we got to do now we got to fix it so fix it means we're going to fix that other side that we didn't cut and blend it with the side that we did so again i highly recommend that um, you ask your stylist can they keep you towards the mirror because again, some people are afraid. They are afraid to get that hair cut and if they can't see what you're doing, they just kind of freak out. So to help you know, service people with tonsophobia, I highly recommend that you turn them towards the mirror and, and let them see the performance. Let them see what happens. A lot of people have never had a professional haircut, so they don't know anything about performance. They're like, I just want my hair to just flow. And as you can see to the left, no, to the right, yes, no, yes. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. So to the right, she's got a little bit more movement. Um, to the left, it's just weight, it's just heavy, and nothing happens. Uh, so to the left are people who would complain that their hairstyles don't last. You cut my hair last week, it's still tearing a month ago. Uh, my curls are like wispy. How come I can't see the body? I don't get movement. Free trims, you don't get that. So here, I am going to blend this out. Now, I shouldn't say free trims, but when you just comb the hair down, because again, some stylists are going to charge either way it goes, okay? So, as you can see, now when I turn my chair, you get another angle. Snip, 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 okay? So, there you can see I blended that out, and I did not cut her hair off. Again, if you kind of just slid, you know, through the video, I did ask her permission to turn her away from the mirror she's been coming to me for a while she had braids in her hair so she is uh, back for her quarterly haircut and she's growing her hair down and we use the morocco methods lunar hair chart i send all of my customers so um if you're like okay that's all i want to see <laughs> It's no problem going over to MoroccoMethod.com and please uh, see what the hair shaman has to say about lunar hair cutting systems. It is the 
bomb all right so here I'm just going to show you how I'm taking the ends off now a question that comes up a lot is well how much so when we are shaping the ends or cutting the hair like this it's kind of hard to determine how much because the hair all the fibers don't grow at the same rate so each strand of hair has its own life cycle if you will so all we can do is use these techniques to try to capture the performance so here you can see the performance every time I shape the hair I comb it and I just move the hair so you can see bam look at how nice that looks that looks really nice and so I'm going to show you in another photo how the ends look up close and why it's hard to determine how much you see so that's for this section of our hair up top that's how much that needs to come off the next piece might need less so it's very difficult for us to tell you if it's a half an inch an eighth or one inch we're just going to take off the little wispies that you can see there and you can also see her guide uh, and if you want to pause the camera and measure it go for what you know okay so there it is again all right so now my hair cutting technique is called point cutting to get all those fibers in between again every salon has their own or every hairstylist rather they have their own techniques so this is why we don't like for you guys to use YouTube <laughs> you know uh, to walk you through what you're looking for instead please go in and just have a good conversation and be open <clears throat> excuse me and if you are afraid you're afraid we do have customers who just like no I don't want to cut I don't if you don't want to cut I'm not gonna make you I have several customers I've never cut their hair it doesn't look as nice as this but everybody does not want this look and again um, I'm that type of hairstylist so there it is again so I'm gonna bring my camera up just so you can see check out my rings y'all okay so there those ends are and now I'm just gonna go through see so really nice and easy there they are okay so again Tasha phobia is about people who are afraid to get their hair cut and like I said before there are people who they just I don't want my hair cut you don't have to but you got to understand that performance means manageability performance means style ability performance means length and we do recommend that if you're going to grow your hair cut out this is our salon that you shape it up every three months and we kind of find it impossible to just you know it, to just cut a little bit every month so we say let it grow out some it's gonna be okay now precision cuts that's a whole nother video so again this is strictly for people who want to grow their hair out and this is a reverence salon theory the value of this haircut is uh, $23 and our precision cuts they start from $38 so you have to come in and I uh, get your consultation and we tell you the difference okay so again haircuts at our salon are not about how much we take off they are about how much we leave on and I borrowed that from Philip Pelosi look at that isn't that beautiful I know all right all you tonsurophobia people don't be embarrassed anymore my book is available my hair products are available at my Amazon store which is at LaDosha Wright this video is about real hair on real people in real life um, I hope you liked the video if you did hit that thumbs up drop your questions in the chat um, don't forget to subscribe check out my podcast all right and subscribe to all my social media platforms i appreciate y'all y'all the best okay bye